So lately, I've been interested in APRS, and I've been trying to find a quick and cheap way to get a little uh, tracking system going. So after reading uh, some stuff online, I found out that there's this great program for Android phones uh, called APRS Droid. And you can get it for free online. It's pretty powerful um, in that it can do basically everything that APRS itself supports. So it'll do, uh, you can send messages, you can obviously track people, you can receive um, signals and upload them. But I just want to make a simple tracker. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded the APRS Droid app. As you can see, I've used it a little bit. But um, once you get it, you're going to need to go over to your preferences on here and get your call sign uh, put in and get an APRS passcode. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. Just follow the directions uh, within the program. Um, and then you're going to need to mess with some settings. So I'm using a Baofeng radio, which you can get for about 30 bucks off of Amazon right now. And the really nice thing about it is, is it has Vox control for uh, audio in. So all I have to do on the phone is set up the GPS, uh, set up for it to use the GPS. That's under connection protocol. And you're going to want AFSK via speaker mic. As you can see, there's a ton of things. You can, uh, you can do this without a radio at all if you'd like to use the internet. But this is an old phone. Uh, it doesn't have any service right now. So I'm really just using the GPS. That's the only uh, wireless part on the phone that I'll be using. Um... Some other things like your location, how, how you want it to send reports, uh, if you want to do it by time, um, GPS, GPS precision, I have mine set to high, so it's always on. Um, yeah, so there's some things there, you can uh, read up on that and mess around with it. Um, but basically I have it set up to go through the speaker mic, I have it using the GPS, um, I think I have it set for every five minutes to send an update currently. Um, I have the keep the screen awake uh, when the program's running. And yeah, so once you get uh, it all programmed in with your call sign and the password, uh, you're mostly good to go on, on that end. So, then you have to go to the radio. As you can see, I'm currently on the APRS frequency, so it might get, uh, might get some signals here. But uh, the main thing you have to do is go over to the menu and set your Vox. Now, I found that uh, Vox 10 is probably the best. It seems to be the most sensitive, uh, which is probably what you're going to want. So you can set that, go back. Um, and that's basically all the settings on the radio itself. I'm running this at its full power, which I think is about 4 watts. Um, and I'm using a Diamond SRH77CA antenna. As you can see, it's a not the stock antenna. It's a little bit better. Um, and then you've got your audio in jack, the microphone jack here. It's kind of tough to see, but it's just a 3.5 millimeter jack. So I'll be using simply an auxiliary audio cable to connect to there. And then the other end is simply going to go and do the phone. Now, um, to start tracking, you literally just press the button, start tracking. And it's going to start looking for a GPS. Um, it might take a little while to lock on at first. Uh, but then once it does, it'll, it should update every five minutes by sending a signal out of the audio straight to the radio. The radio is on Vox, and it'll just key it when it gets the signal. So that, that's basically all, all you need to do to get it going. Uh, I've been messing with it for a few days, and now I want to try something a little different. I'm currently uh, home on fall break from college, and I want to do a little experiment where I want to mail this thing back to school in a package. Um, I'll be sending it to Terre Haute, Indiana, and uh, I'm, like I said, in Cleveland, Ohio on break. So uh, it's a couple days it'll take in, in shipping. So what I have here is my huge honking USB battery uh, to keep the phone powered during transit. Um, I'm hoping the radio will last. Um, it's not being keyed all the time, so it's not a whole lot of transmit, um, so I hope it'll last, and we'll find out. So, this of course is pretty easy, it's a matter of poking it up. For power, and uh, that should get me there. 
So if you, if you get this far, um, you should be able to log on to a site like aprs.fi uh, and search for your call sign. And um, you should start to see it populating if you've got some uh, APRS eye gates in your area. So that's the basic setup. So I'm going to get this mailed off um, and kind of track it along the way and see how well it works. Um, I've been using the Baofeng with this antenna in my car, uh, kind of in the area, and I've been getting decent results. So not too sure what to expect um, in terms of how well my signal will get out while it's in shipping. But I thought it would be a pretty cool experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and send it off and uh, I'll get back uh, once I get the package back. Okay, so uh, I'm back at school and I just received the package back earlier today. Um, I picked it up, I opened the box and everything was dead. The phone was, uh, battery was dead and so was the radio. So it definitely didn't make the entire trip. Now I sent it out on Saturday and uh, today is Monday, so it didn't quite make it for two days. Uh, but let's go ahead and see uh, what packets it picked up. So we're entering my call sign here, dash seven. Um, I have a couple uh, APRS uh, units I've used, so seven is uh, that particular tracker. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and load it up. Let's see. Okay, so there it shows the last one. Let's turn uh, the tail tracker on. Um, let's do three days. That should be uh, that should cover everything. So now, if we zoom out, okay. So now you can see the path it took. Now I'm over here in Terre Haute. You can see where the cursor is. Um, and the last packet looked like it was picked up over here around Richmond which is just over the border of Indiana by Ohio. So we started out here in Westlake. Um, as you can see, it didn't pick up many packets total at all, um, probably due to the fact that it was, um, the antenna was a, it was a quarter of a whip antenna, but there wasn't a good ground uh, plane that it was attached to, A, it was just on the handy talkie. Also, it was packed in a box, which was in a truck. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of like having your handy talkie in a car. It's not going to get out very far, especially uh, at only 4 watts. So that would explain uh, why it didn't get uh, too many packets. But if you look at where we did get packets, so this one's up in Westlake. Um, I believe this one was actually at my house right before I sent it. Uh, let's see. Now you can see here, this little pop pops up, that line. There was a, an eye gate to port it to the Internet right near the freeway. And I presume that's the case for everywhere... Um, well, where I picked it up. Uh, there's a digipeter here, it looks like, which uh, repeated it with a lot more power. Um, and it looks like the case, same kind of deal here. It was, there was a node close to the freeway. So that explains why um, it picked up packets where it did. Now, uh, Indianapolis, um, by clear um, tracking my particular call sign here, Now, as you can see around Indianapolis, there's a lot of APRS activity. So I, I'm quite sure that the battery of everything died somewhere between where I picked up the last packet and Indianapolis because I think it would have gotten, um, probably would have picked something up around Indy. But it made it uh, to Terre Haute okay. Like I said, the batteries were all dead, uh, but it made it here. Um, so it worked. Um, definitely it'd be worth another shot, see if I can get a little more power in it. Um, but it was, it was a worthwhile experiment. And the APRS Droid software definitely does work. And with the Baofeng radio, it's a really cheap and easy way to get into it. So um, I definitely would recommend trying it out if you have the radio or, and an old phone. Um, I believe there is some software for uh, iOS and the iPhone that will do the same sort of thing. But it's not free. At least I couldn't find anything that was free. Um, so yeah, it's, it's worth experimenting with if you have a, if you have an old phone or even just trying it with with your current phone, it'll still work fine. Um, mess around with the software, and you have a really easy uh, to to use little portable tracker APRS unit. So yep, all in all, uh, like I said, it was a it was a good experiment. It worked well, and I would recommend it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see y'all later.